Hello everyone, Crydax here and welcome to a very exciting video. We've been waiting for this video for years now. I am super excited to be playing Space Age today. Uh, the media embargo has dropped, it is October 14th, and we are going to be doing a completely fresh, I have played zero of the game, and the only mods we have are the Space Age mods. So they're kind of not technically mods, even though they are quite literally technically mods. I'd say, the, in effect, they're not mods. So we are going to be playing Space Age, you know, unmodded experience, and we're going to be starting in with a single player game. Um, like I said, I have zero experience with this. I didn't, I didn't go to the LAN party, so I don't know much at all. I, I've been sort of browsing the beta Discord, but mostly staying off of that as well. So I don't, I really don't know much. Other than the FFFs. I do know about the FFFs. I've kept up with the FFFs. I did a video reviewing all 60 FFFs, which if you want to review all the new features that have been officially spoiled, uh, I recommend you go check that out. I'm going to leave all the settings on default. I am going to preview my map seed. I know, I know, I know. Crazy, right? But I at least want to make sure I get a seed that's somewhat reasonable. Like, like this looks very reasonable to me. There's some oil up there. There's some enemy, the enemies look very light, but that's me coming off of a death world. And we've got maybe too many trees? Nah, let's keep going. Oh, that's not the right, this button. Uh, this one's actually not bad. It's deserty, but there's not too many enemies. And there's some trees around the starting area. There's two irons close by. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. That's too too many rocks. What's up with all those rocks? Look at this. What happened to the rock generation? There's giant piles of them. Did Arendelle, did Arendelle get a hand in this? <laughs> oh, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome. Mmm, that one's too much water. That one's too much water. I might just turn the water down over. Well no, I wanna stay with default. I want to do full default settings. I don't know. I'm just going to hit this button a bunch of times and then see what happens. If you hit randomize more times, it makes it more random. In case you guys didn't know. Um, all right. Big iron or uranium very close by. Uh, do I like this? Maybe we try this one. Why not? Why not? We're doing it. Oh my gosh. Ah! All right. Here we go. Cutscene's the same. Pretty much everything's the same <laughs> on Navis. No, not really. There's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of new bits and and bobs, but. Welcome to Factorio Space Age Free Play. Your task is to dispatch an interstellar space platform. That's new. You will need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket silo and discover other planets. Woo! Start small. Work your way up with automation. Construct a reliable base of operation and reach for the stars. Protect yourself from the native species as they might not appreciate your presence. Wow. Um... What are we going to do? Are we going to enshrine the spaceship or are we going to mine it like a barbarian? I don't know, Conblim. That's actually a question I'm asking myself. I'm going to pick up all these bits and we are going to get to smelting. As far as the early game, it's pretty... Oh, I need to turn up my volume a little bit too because I want to hear all the new sound effects. One, so one thing that... I did play like 10 minutes just to make sure it worked. Maybe, maybe 30. I, I did a little bit of iron smelting. Oh, our coal is pretty far away from iron. That's annoying. But basically, there are new sound effects for everything. So check this out. If we mine some coal, the mining sound effect's not new. But when we pick it up in our inventory, it has a new sound, which was spoiled in the FFFs, but I had forgotten about it. Um, yeah, so it is a desert start, but we've got some trees. So I feel pretty good about the the difficulty's not going to be crazy because we do have some trees. So there's not zero pollution protection. But yeah, listen to this. They 
all have different sounds. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, Snoopish, basically. No, no, I know, I didn't. I didn't play that long. I, I played long enough to, um, like, get to where I could start building steam power, and then I stopped. So, I really, I have zero space age playtime. Are there new achievements? Ooh, uh, I believe there are. Yeah, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look through all of them because that feels a little a little spoilery. So by the way, spoiler wise, uh, I wanna kinda talk about how we're gonna handle this. So in chat, you guys have a potential to be watching other streamers streams and content. And I so these are gonna be spoiler free streams in that uh, I don't want anyone chatting about things that we haven't gotten to yet. Um, but everything that we've gotten to is obviously fair game. So like this stream is not going to be Gleba spoiler free once we're on Gleba, for example. Um, and anything in the tech tree is fair game. I'm not going to be like scouring the tech tree, you know, like obviously the icons are cool. We can look at the icons, but like I'm not going to be scouring it to see every little bit and piece of possible stuff like we already know there's fusion reactors from the FFF so like that's not a spoiler but I'm also not gonna go hunting for more information from the tech tree other than maybe like wondering when something will unlock or things like that so this is gonna be kind of a discovering journey throughout space age we're not gonna we're not gonna rush to find out things until we want or need to know about them and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so awesome. So yeah, let's get some burner drills going here, making some iron, classic Factorio experience. Oh, here's another new thing. Look at this. Uh, oh, I need to change my pipette button. Uh, but look at the little red squares when you mouse over something and it can't fit. It shows you exactly which squares can't fit. So that's sweet, that's sweet. Um. But yeah, we'll get some coal in those, and then I need to change my pipette. Uh, Riff, the, the main menu animations have things that the FFFs have spoiled, but not huge spoilers, I would say. Uh, what am I doing? I want controls, pipette, tool is middle mouse button for me. And then we'll turn on alt mode like normal people. And yeah. Now, now we try to remember how to play Factorio. I did just play a Death World, so I should have at least a little bit of some concept of what I'm doing here, you'd think. Oh yeah, so these show the, the per second now on them. Look at the right side there. Also, I'm, gosh, I might need to move my camera. Uh, I feel like with all the new stuff, the, the tips bar on the, or whatever you call that, the tool tip is gonna be bigger to where my head's gonna be in the way a bunch of times. So like, now there, which which way do I lean to go out of the way? Is it this way? I guess I could just slouch down. Um, but look at that, pressure greater than 10 HPA. Is that hectopascals? I don't know what HPA is. Uh, I think H is hecto. Ugh. All that to say, the pressure on a surface has to be greater than a certain amount to construct certain buildings. Can I hover over the furnace in my inventory? Oh yeah, look at all those new fuels. Look at all those new burnable things. Looks like we got seeds, little nuts, larva maybe, the, the nutrient stuff, or is that spoilage? I don't know. Jelly cubes. I think those ones on the bottom right not the green one, but the brownish one. I think that's the biter egg that we saw in the FFF. Also, there's a new like uh, hexagon, hexagons or bestagons fuel next to solid fuel. So all sorts of cool stuff there. Uh, we need more coal. So let's get that automated here. Now, as far as those of you who haven't watched me before, as far as what kind of Factorio player am I? I'm a, I'm a little bit between... I, what am I? Compared to most YouTubers and streamers, I'd say I'm actually on the end of more spaghetti. I think compared to the average player, I'm a little bit between spaghetti and 
kind of clean builds. I'm not just pure chaos, but I but I definitely am willing to embrace the spaghetti. And for my Space Age playthrough, I will be willing to embrace the spaghetti. We're not going for city block mega base here. We're just here to enjoy the ride. I'm going to try to play slow. I'm going to try to not rush, though I do struggle with that. Sometimes I just want to see the new stuff, so I rush ahead in like the tech tree, and then I end up accumulating a lot of technological debt for my base, so to speak. So that can be a thing. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to we're going to work our way through. And if you're here on future YouTube, uh, welcome, everybody. I hope that you enjoy the series. We're going to be working our way through Space Age. Make sure to leave comments if you want to or don't if you don't want to. I don't care. It's your life. Um, <laughs> I'm not your mom or your dad or anything in between. So you do whatever you want. But I do like when people comment. So, you know. That's fun. How long until Pyandodon Mad Lads merge SA into PyMods? Probably pretty quick, James. Uh, we They already announced on their Discord. So the PyMods, most or all of them, have access and have had access already for weeks to Space Age. So they've been working on getting Pyandodons compatible with 2.0. And just a reminder to everybody, 2.0 is a separate update that everybody gets even people who have not purchased space age so there's lots of updates to the base game and lots of updates to things there that everybody gets and so they're updating pyanodons to work with 2.0 so basically pyanodons will keep working for people who um basically just want to keep playing it and it will have the new 2.0 features but nothing else and then they're going to be working on Five, five. I don't know why I said five. There's five new planets. Um, two new Pi mods called Pi. Uh, I'm gonna forget the name of them now. It's Space something. It's not Space Exploration. Space Expedition, I think, is what it's called. And then Pi Aliens, which is finally their combat balancing mod. And those are both. I think those are gonna come at the same time or very near to each other. And those are gonna bring um, Space Age two Pyanodons. Basically, that's going to finally merge the two. Now, they have said they're going to steamroll Space Age, as in, like, it's not like everything in Space Age will get wrapped into Pyanodons, but it'll be more like Stellar Expedition. Thank you. Yeah, it's shortened as Pisax. Yes. <laughs> uh, you're right. The chat is a little hard to read, so let me address that real quick. I can just pop over to my chat bot settings and maybe we can get it to have a bigger outline here. We'll see if that can work. And then we're just collecting iron to make more burner drills, to make more coal and iron. You guys know the drill. <laughs> the drill. Um, okay, so widgets, Twitch chat. Text style, outline size. If I make this bigger, that might give us what we want here. Uh, that's that's not good. That's too much. Actually, might need the font size to go up one notch. Ooh, that's that's a big difference. Those notches. Font weight. Maybe I make the font a little bolder. That seems a bit more visible. Um, and I have to do the same for YouTube chat. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Thanks, Jace. Helps a lot. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm so excited. <sighs> so what is the first new thing that we're going to get, I wonder? Because we're going to we're going to be playing what will feel like Vanilla Factorio for a bit here. But look at this. No, we're not. We're already getting new stuff. Trigger technologies. What's this? Ooh, show only essential technologies. Look at that. It kind of like gives you the overall schema for getting through the game. That's cool. Like the science pack progression and everything. That's really neat. But uh, yeah, so 
we also have the trigger technology. Oh, and that's new too, the science production tab. We read about that FFF on Saturday. Um, but yeah, the trigger tech, I haven't done anything, right? I didn't research anything, but we got steam researched because we had to craft 50 iron plates. So there are these new trigger techs that will research by doing something. So crafting a lab will unlock red packs. Crafting copper gets us those things. So we probably should get copper started then. So let's do that over here. Can you reorder the researches in the research queue? I'm not sure. That's something we'll have to try out. I'm just going to put a bunch in here and call it a day. Gosh, these new coal sounds are wigging me out. Super weird. Can you queue trigger text? Uh, no. Well, it won't let me hit the start research on anything yet. Okay, no. This is uh, this is research by performing an action that the technology defines. So it basically says, don't even try it, you idiot. What are you doing? Okay. One thing I'm trying to get better at is not zooming in and out constantly because I realize that can be less fun for people viewing. I, I've noticed that when I'm watching Factorial once in a while. So I'm trying to not like just because when I play, I, I just am always zooming in and out as I like as I travel, I zoom out. And then when I'm doing things, I zoom in and it can be a little much. Oh, Factoriopedia. Yes. Yes. Alt left click on anything. So if we want to look at iron plates, Here's the Iron Plate Factoriopedia. You can see all the things it's used in, alternative recipes for making it, the recipe, rocket capacity, stack size. Wow, 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 wow. Casting iron unlocked in the foundry. We need to craft tungsten carbide before we get foundries. Oh man. I think it will be a good replacement for, um, I don't know about FNEI. It certainly will be a good replacement for recipe book, though, depending on what functionalities are or aren't missing, Rygard may or may not want to redo recipe book still. So we'll see. What's up, Lodro? Happy space day to you as well. I need to go mine some more rocks. Uh, which, of course, it's nighttime. I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of rocks over here by the coal. All right, so is it researched by the trigger or is the tech enabled for research by the trigger? Uh, Conblem, it is researched by the trigger. You actually, you do not have to research the trigger techs. Um, just started playing last week. I understand how two interconnected. Uh, yes, that is correct, Omaha. They just basically fuel themselves and stack up to 50 coal in each burner. The, the real benefit to doing it is it just is a no must, no fuss. You don't have to worry about them fueling. Um, but it the downside to doing it that way is that you only get up to 50 coal in each burner. So once they all have 50, they'll stop running. So that's why you need more. Well, you need more for faster coal per second, too, but... Okay, so we'll craft a few more burners, and yeah, let's start working towards some steam power here. Um, let me just make sure these are all cold up. I'll go to eight coal burners. I'll put some coal on the hot bar here. Craft a few more stone furnaces. By the way, the, the reason I was mining those rocks down here and around here is they give you way more stone than, like, look, we get 22 stone from that. And that's way faster than mining stone. And it's even pretty competitive with using drills to mine stone in the beginning. Pinko, what's going on? This is actual space age. The embargo has dropped. We are able to play it, and we are playing it. All right, let me make some chests. Actually, those go on five uh, on my hot bar. And then we're gonna make an offshore pump, a boiler, and a steam engine. Get that done. Is this really space day? 
Uh, okay, sorry, I'm trying to catch up with the comments. You guys are so excited, I can't keep up with everything. Uh, Iron Ghost, you haven't missed much, don't worry. Is there a way to turn off parts that you haven't unlocked? Now there's a question. Um... Let's see. Uh, show tips and tricks notifications. Oh, I want that on. Oh yeah, tips and tricks are gonna be a big deal. Do I need to reset tips and tricks? Is that a button? Um, show all items in selection lists is off. Show parameters in selection lists. Parameter parametrized. Is it parameterized or parametrized? Is that a typo or is that correct? I'm actually not sure. Um, but yeah, there's nothing in here that seems to be able to affect Factoriopedia. Um, other. Controls, not going to be in there. Graphics, probably not. Arachnophobia mode will not fully render their legs. The mad lads did it. They have an arachnophobia mode. I'm curious what that looks like. Yeah, it's true. Space Age and, and regular Factorio are going to be pretty similar for a bit here. No, no arguments there. I guess we don't need that one. All right, so we got plenty of iron. I can't get over those new sound effects for like the iron plates and stuff. It's so weird. Uh, I'm gonna craft a bunch of power poles and we're gonna get power going here. I need some coal for that though. And a chest and a couple inserters. Look, I know lots of people like to use burner inserters to make sure they don't power spiral or whatever. You know, where's the fun in that? I ain't no coward. Electric inserters everywhere. <laughs> the only reason I really use burner inserters is if I want things to go slower for some reason on purpose. And there happens to be fuel nearby. Yeah, new feature. Pipette on the water to get the shore pump. Beautiful. Now this is nice because it actually shows you where the the bounding box is for for the pump to to place. So so you're lining up that little square with the green thing. That's super nice. Um, and then I'll need a pipe. I like to do an underground. And is there a reason I can't just? Oh, it's so nice. With remote view, they removed that shroud around the edge. I literally was talking about that in the death world. <sighs> remote view is like, there's even the, oh, it's so cool. Our first experience with it. Anyway, um, I was just thinking, is there a reason I shouldn't go straight down with my boilers? And I think, yeah, let's go west instead of down. So we'll go this way. And we'll bring our coal up. Something like this. And then I can have another set on top going that way. Okay, so then we get our steam engine. And yeah, if you're new to Factorio altogether, welcome. Um, this is the expansion. So if you're considering playing, you might it, it's it's a little unclear yet. So, I mean, a lot of people haven't played yet, and we don't really know what we should recommend to newbies. Um, should we recommend that they play without the DLC first? I think that's probably going to be... I forgot a pipe by a pump. Yes, I did. I feel like that's probably going to be the recommendation, is to play and beat Vanilla Space Age before Space Age. However... A lot of the, hey, start producing electric power by steam engine. We got an achievement. A lot of the game before you get to space is the same. So I also am kind of thinking like, what's the, 
what's the point of playing vanilla before space age since you kind of have to beat vanilla to get to space anyway i don't know i don't know there's also it motivates players i think to get further having space age so do what you want the shoreline looks different Kristoff, yes it does you certainly want to make sure you like the game before you buy space age um you know but that's just true of any game that you should play play it a bit before you did it always cost yeah i guess it always cost that many circuits all right we need to fuel up all my iron nonsense Whee! all right so it's weird to hear the science research um finishing when you didn't actually research something. Uh, can you play 2.0 and Space Age separately? Two icons on your desktop starting the different games. No, they are the same game. Like on Steam, it's a DLC for the same game. So now if you if you do install via a folder like you downloaded from the from the Wuba website, uh, you can because you can purchase Factorio on the website and I actually recommend you do that because then Steam doesn't get a cut but then uh, at that point you end up with uh, the Steam key anyway so anyway uh, at, you could download two different versions but as far as the Steam version you'd have to disable the Space Age mod and re-enable it now you can do uh, bat files that will switch out which mods are enabled and you can launch the game via using those that's kind of a little tricky uh people on my discord could help you out with that if you're interested in doing that all right rayclaw see you next time thanks for hanging out is pipe visualizer dead potentially Zhao. i'm not exactly sure if it's fully replaced or not we'll have to see all right let's get let's get automating that is that is episode one, right? Episode one's all about going from handcrafting to automation. So we'll get automation research. So I need 10 packs. We'll get the labs. I'm thinking we'll just kind of base out here in the middle. We'll give ourselves lots of room to start. You can also install through the website after buying it from Steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to that sound. Is the volume loud enough, y'all? Do I need to turn it up at all? How do you feel? Feels like it might be a smidge quiet. I don't know. Yeah, I also bought Factorio before it was on Steam. Hipster, hipsters unite. Yeah, look at all the packs in the lab. Yep, we got we got all the science packs now. A full 12. Oops, well, we just saw the name of the last one. There you go. Minor spoiler. Wow. Rocket capacity is a thousand. So it looks like they only... Interesting. Interesting. All kinds of stuff. All right, so let's go put some more coal in the power doodad and get a second. Oh, you know, Q to front. I do miss the Q to front mod already. That mod is very nice when you're like, I just want to craft one thing, and then I want to go back to whatever I was doing before. All right, so we got a lot of coal ready to go there. I shouldn't have to think about power for a bit. Ultimate research queue is the best. Yeah, I think there's some new features. Ooh, in queue research. Look at that fancy button. And look at this. You can rearrange researches. So that is nice. That is a thing now. That is a thing. So handy. Hey, 
So why is it showing? I'm so confused. If I already have some, how am I getting new ones? Weird. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Um, also tips and tricks. Look at this. So there, there are lots of new things here. Um, rotating circuit network. Belt lanes, splitters, inserters, burner inserter, transfer between labs, insertion limits. Let's kind of go through this and make sure there's nothing new. I don't think there should be anything new um, other than maybe a quality of life feature here or there. Um, yep, that was there before. Trains. Uh, personal logistics. Ghost rail planner, copy paste. Fast replace belt with underground. Yeah, I think this is pretty much all what we had before. Okay, so now we'll have to keep an eye out for when the, that number increases on tips and tricks. Yeah, there are new achievements even for vanilla. Interesting. All right, let's get some assembling machines crafted. And I want to get gears and wires going ASAP. Yeah, it does look pretty cool, SMO. The good news is, you'll have it in just a week. A week has never felt so long, though, has it? Okay, let's get automating. So, to start out, I think... I want to automate just... Wow, that's a pretty easy achievement. Build an assembling machine. <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than that. I just want to automate some basic like gears and wires to have. Or maybe gears and circuits. I don't know if I actually need. Um... Oh yeah, here's the new like you can alt click on the item or the the recipe. Because that's the recipe. And then this is the item. Though in this case, they take you to the same page. 100% speed runs are going to be crazy. Uh, I don't even know what they're going to look like. Absolutely nuts. I guess what I could do is I could use this one. Uh, let's see. Let's do something like this. And then I can do this. And we can kind of have a little bit of everything going on for us here. Just look at it showing me the per second over there. That is so nice. That is so handy. <sighs> I, I was saying on the FFF uh, review that I just did, there is one downside to that. And I think the downside is that it, it, it causes newer players to put a too high of an emphasis on correct ratios and caring about per second numbers. Um, and I think it will actually subtly in in ways that I don't even think players will notice I think it will subtly disincentivize spaghetti and it will want it'll cause players to want be like oh I'm making or I need 15 copper wire a second well that means I need more of these things whereas before if those numbers hadn't been shown to them they wouldn't have done that oh green you know I knew I was doing something wrong Aylor <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just, I think players are going to kind of, I don't know, care more than they previously would have about the, the rates of things because of that being shown. And I think that actually can be a downside for newer players. I think for the most part it's upside and I'm glad that they added the feature, but I do think there's some downside to it. Q 
kill your first biter base with artillery? Oh, that's a fun one. You know what? I have enough coal. Let me just fill these things up. And I probably won't need more copper than that for a while. The early, the early copper usage of your base is pretty low. It's mostly iron early game. Yeah, and Conblem, that's why I think it's nice, is just being able to get rough estimates of numbers very quickly before was not possible, and now it is. So. Hey, thanks for the follow, no fame. All right, let's get our first. I'm just gonna preemptively build it on belts, just so that way we don't have to worry about that later. Um. I'm kind of future-proofing this a little bit. Hey, everybody. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Everybody new to Crydania. Grab gears. Grab some cables. And... Some more labs going. All right. Now, I am going to want this to handle eventually more stuff. So I'll just build the one side for now. Because otherwise... <laughs> yeah, the pack icon living all the way on the left of the building looks really funny. Um, which obviously is there because there's going to be 14 more packs next to it. Not literally 14, uh, just 11, but that's still a lot. So, get this going, and then I think I'll build a separate little science build here. And these both need gears and plates. Okay, so I have an idea here. Let's do something like that. Ooh, there's the new ghost blueprints, or the ghost entities. They're like wiggly, wiggly and wavy. Hey, thanks for the sub, Enoch. Alright, so you're gonna be gears. That'll be copper and I guess iron will have to go down here. And I need some more inserters. It is spooky. Have I ever done car sushi? No, car sushi is one thing I have stayed away from. Uh, I guess I can just put the copper in there as well. There's already 25 mods on the mod portal. That's funny. I'm sure most of them are very... Well, actually, no. I, I, it depends if... Um, if people who have had beta access are allowed to post the stuff they've been doing at this point, then there could be actual real mods already going. Alright, so there's iron, and there's copper. And then there is that science. Ready to go. You're drinking double the black tea. <laughs> oh man, good luck, Dave. You uh, don't don't hurt yourself. There's always the vod. Although, with me streaming 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow, there's no time to catch up on the vod. <laughs> it's okay. You won't miss much. Just making sure we got enough coal power. Ooh, this is a new, it's a bigger window for sure. I guess it's not new. It looks slightly updated, but I don't think anything's new about it, right? This is all the same as what it did before. I think it's pretty much the same. Um, are there any new buttons up here? Achievements, Rails, Factoriopedia. We already looked at that. Production, oh. Production statistics, novice production, novice, novice. Uh, pollution, by the way, how are we doing on pollution? There are biters here. Thankfully there are some trees before that little base there, but I probably should craft a few magazines here. Oh, and you don't have to research turrets anymore. I never researched turrets and I have them. Ooh, 
good point, Alar. Good point. Does the blueprint menu look any different? Uh, do you mean blueprint books? Like this menu? Or this? Oh, that. Uh, no, that looks the same. Seems. But we do need a book here. This is going to be the big book of Crydax. Or I'll just call it Space Age. And the icon is going to be... Did they give us that little Space Age rocket flying icon somewhere? That would be cool if they did. But I don't think they do. So what shall I what shall I use? I'll I'll just use the legendary icon cuz this is a legendary game. Um Well, wait, did I click on When did I hit start? research on gun turret that must have just been me exampling shifting things around that's really funny i did not mean to research gun turrets <laughs> consciously Ooh, there's a new icon for the radar research look at that it's fancy um that's really funny but uh yeah let's get underground belts we'll get lights researched i'll get my submachine gun researched and then maybe repair packs? Eh, we can wait on repair packs. I'll do electric drill after that. But yeah, so what I will be doing with the Space Age stuff is I'll probably try to stay organized and I'll, I can share this on my Discord. Um, oh, I just did two. Didn't mean to do two nestings. Um, this one is gonna be novice stuff. So like basically everything we're doing now is going to be, oh, I wish they had planet icons. Did they not? Or do they? I didn't look very close. I guess we could search for it. There it is. They do. Okay. So yeah, we'll have like a Navis book. Um, and that's what we'll use for everything before we get to space, right? Everything that we want to blueprint before then. I'm not a heavy blueprint user, uh, especially on a new playthrough like this. So, anyway. Hey, Merrick, how's it going? You're finishing watching the live streams for Satisfactory? Fun. Yeah, Satisfactory was a blast. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think, I think for my personal preferences, I'll always prefer Factorio heavily. But Satisfactory 1.0 was really, really fun. And I enjoyed it. I'm going to put this turret up by my power because it would take me a long time to walk here and defend things. And this is probably where the biters will attack if they do. So, ooh, look at this. Target priorities. What you going to kill? Target priorities? Character? It's not going to shoot me, right? Okay. I just wanted to check. You know, you got to try these things. That would be hilarious, though. Then I wouldn't be able to come over here until it ran out of ammo shooting me. Um, but that's for multiplayer, obviously, when characters are on opposing forces. So that's what that's all about. All right, we got lamps research, so I can handcraft a bunch of those. And then now I just need more iron in here. More copper in there. Keep the circuits flowing, keep the gears flowing. And... Looks like we need more of everything, as usual. What's up, Salsa? Welcome, welcome. You have arrived. Oh, Zhao, we certainly know that they are not in a set order. You can go whatever order. you want <laughs> whatever order you want to your heart's content well no i take that back there is you do have to do the three before you can do aquilo so it, it you there's sort of whatever order you want two three and four are whatever order and then past that you have to follow you have to do all three and then you can go to the final one which i think makes a lot of sense for them to do it that way um because otherwise it would be a little weird if there were just 
four other planets that you could go to in any order, then I think not only would that increase the permutations by even more that they'd have to balance against each other, but then none of the planets would feel more special than any of the other ones, and they'd all feel equally kind of not special. So, yeah, exactly, Alor. It's not the first time a game has done something like that, so. You know, you give the player a lot of choice in the mid game, but then you funnel them back together for the end game. That's a pretty standard thing. All right, so this needs the copper. That's actually got a lot of copper. That needs more iron to keep science rolling here. And we'll make it some semblance of a mall sometime soon, but What I think we will see a lot of is additional planet mods pretty early because that's an easy way to add content to Space Age without having to rebalance or overhaul anything, right? You can add a new planet that's somewhere else that does something new and you don't have to do anything else. What's that quality blueprint? That's just my blueprint book. I, I, I need to delete it um, from my... How do you... How do you get rid of it? Uh, pick it up and hit delete. Actually, don't know how to do this. And that doesn't delete it, right? No, that does delete it. How do I just... Get it out of my inventory. Drag it into the game blueprints? No, I'm gonna drag it into my blueprints. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Now this one I wanna delete. Um, okay, there we go. Pyanodons is, you know, I hope they don't add a million planets. I don't know if that's good game design. I don't technically know it's bad game design either, but uh, I certainly question if it's good game design to just add a million planets. Because because there's a there are good exhaustions and there are bad exhaustions, and Pyanodons definitely toes the line on all of them. But I do think Pyanodons could go. Uh, oh, that's a cool symbol. Look at that. The, like, I'm out of ore now symbol. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna start handcrafting electric mining drills now. In fact, we can just transition copper over since I'm doing this here. And... I still don't have enough inserters quite yet to do what I like to do, so I'll just go with my standard staggered build here. And coal lasts a long time in these furnaces, so I find this to be pretty effective early game. And we have lights now. Hey, chemical trail. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by. A bunch of planets worked great for Starfield. <laughs> sad face. Oh, let's not talk about Starfield. What a sad, what a sad game. What a sad flipping game. I was so hyped for it because it had so much promise. And honestly, it was fun. Like the... It, it was fun, but then it just was empty. It's like if they had done one big planet, just ignore planets altogether, and then space going to space is just for like space combat and maybe traveling to space stations. And then other planets exist, but only for base building and random generation. But they had like a big Skyrim sized map 
for one planet with hand-placed content? That would have been amazing. But no. Are there any differences? Uh, Zekula, yes and no. I mean, we've noticed the sound. When you pick up buildings. It's not extremely loud, but the sounds are different. There's lots of little quality of life things. Factoriopedia is new. But as far as like actual content, no. We're, we're, other than the trigger text, everything else is the same so far. Um, yeah. We'll queue up the green science research. And yeah, let's get ourselves a screenshot here. I think this will be our episode one screenshot. I'm going to have to keep notes on my notepad here of um, <laughs> what each episode is. Normally I can remember, but we're doing 12 hours of streaming and then I'm going to have to make all the thumbnails for the YouTube episodes. So I'm going to need to write it down. <laughs> What's up, Draskill? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, when does quality come into play? I believe somewhere after we get modules here. So technically, you can research quality modules with just red and green science, and you can create them with just red circuits. And you get uncommon and rare at the same time. So pretty early. Now, whether you'll be able to do much with it at that point is a different question, to which I think the answer is no, but. All right, I'm going to get some stone smelting going because B. Jonas cheated a little bit and did in-game name in-game redemption uh, on the last stream. So I gotta get some stone brick. Start making names. Uh, yeah, Alor, you do start with less unlocked, but some of it is trigger tech. So I'm not actually sure someone would have to do the a one-to-one -one comparison on whether you actually it also looks like they rebalance the costs. Was Green Science 75 packs before? I'm not sure if all of these costs are the same or not as they were before. Like the ones that I've done. Like was... And drill? I don't think you had to research electric mining drill, did you? Wasn't that just part of the electronics research before? Interesting. I, I like I just I can't I didn't play vanilla, you know enough to memorize the early game text. That's for sure That's for sure Quality handheld weapons will for sure be helpful and I'm even wondering about quality ammo at least for myself Because then you're getting a damage boost twice so That'll be nice Oh, it's not good that my neck already hurts. Probably slept on it weird. Gonna have to do lots of stretching this stream. All right, so... I mean, we're basically... We basically beat the game already. Look at this. We got infinite iron, infinite copper. What else could we need? Um, all right, B. Jonas, you are gonna get your name in between our copper and stone early patches. Is this enough room? This might not be enough room. Go all the way up to the edge here. Is that five? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Uh-oh. I feel like we're gonna run out of space. In a S. Oh, it was perfect. Oh, I was one stone brick short. Oh, you can you can middle click on stone brick now. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Perfect. All right. Uh, why don't I have sound effects when grabbing stuff from furnaces? I do. It's just kind of quiet compared to the other sound effects. Um, I changed Drentlebot, the the controls. I am going to maybe 
Can I reset these to default? Oh, okay. That was the only thing that wasn't default. Okay. I just wanted to make sure my, my mix was the default mix, because I know I had changed it a while back to, like, turn off the music and other things. Um, you can pipette landfill now. Yes, that they they spoiled that in the FFF. Um, can I make the millennial S? You mean the summer sloop? Uh, not in this small of a of an area, but but yes. Okay, so I think we'll call that the end of the first episode for YouTube. For those of you new to the Crydax process, I'm not done streaming. We're doing a 12-hour stream today, but I do my intro and outro um, so to make like the recording for the YouTube series. So stick around. I'm only going to be... The outro only lasts about 20 seconds, so don't you worry. But for those of you on YouTube, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about Space Age. It's pretty exciting stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and I guess I should probably announce my socials because you might be new to the channel. So I'll at least do that in the first episode before we're done. Um, so you can join the Discord, the Crydania Discord. A lot of people hang out there. It's really great. I highly recommend it if you're interested in hanging out with some of these fun people that are here. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, helping uh, me make these videos and others like Blueprint and Tips and Tricks videos and such, then head over to patreon.com slash Crydax. And other than that, you can obviously follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube and all that stuff, but you already know that. And leave a comment if you want to. Other than that, I hope to see you guys soon in the next episode.